is Martha Wichard, and I'm a physical therapist in South Florida. I'm here representing. You're, what city are you from, please? Oh, from Plantation, Florida. Thank you. Yeah, I'm here representing myself today. Um, as we all know, Florida tends to make a statement on a national basis, whether it be hanging chads or stand your ground or I'm going to Disney. It <laughs> seems to make an impression on people, and it's not always what we want. I believe that all aboard Florida will make a statement. At first, I was not supportive. It wasn't that I was not, not supportive, it's that I didn't have enough information. And I think that's the key, correct, accurate information. Um, I did my due diligence, and I think there's more pros than there are cons. Nothing is perfect, as many people have said. <clears throat> Another thing that I realized is, in doing my research, is that communities tend to take on their own culture, meaning beliefs and actions that they do together, sometimes individually not realizing it's because of that culture. It also can impact how they look as how they fit as a community into the bigger picture and how they value paying it forward. I believe that All Aboard Florida is one of the first steps in being able to look beyond the communities and the communities working together to be able to look at the big picture. Our state, Florida. Um, they've they've gone above and beyond on many aspects of this project and one way that's dear to my heart is how they have adapted the train for disabled and people with limited mobility meaning someone that doesn't necessarily has a have a diagnosis but have this limited mobility um, this is a mecca for people that have disabilities because of the nature of the environment the weather and also because of its recent construction. Many of the ADA requirements are in place because of the recent relatively t to the rest of the world on the newness of the cities here in, in Florida. Um, I read that All Aboard Florida was the only one of its kind, which I didn't know what that meant and my skepticism came out. I did my research and I want to just review some of the things that they've done way above and beyond what the ADA requires to be able to accommodate those people in Florida, taking into consideration the demographics of our state, the aging population, tourism, and business. Um, it starts before you get on the train. The stations are all adapted. They're all accessible, whereas many of the other trains that we've done, they're not. There's sporadic stations throughout the state that are adapted. Getting from the station to the train, we're all familiar, if you've taken trains, of that nine inch gap between the platform and the side of the train. It can be daunting, even to me. It's very daunting, taking the trains in New York. I always remember that. Um, but for someone that's using a walker or has a wheelchair, that can, that can be extremely daunting. What All Aboard Florida has done, that is its one of a kind, is the construction of what's called a gap extender. It's an electronic, tongue that comes out from the side of the train that adapts to the level, it's a high-low, and, and the person can push that, it comes out, it adapts, and allows them to move right onto the train. There's no embarrassment of the conductor coming out having to put a big metal plate down for the people to be able to get through and over into the train. Once in the train, all trains are required to have um, adapted seats. Oftentimes those are booster seats that fold down and they actually look like a timeout chair. And they're sometimes right by where the bathroom is with no view, and they look at the bathroom door. All Aboard Florida has arranged it so that throughout the entire train, there are adapted seats with companion seats. They're not the booster seat that we've seen before. They're the regular seat that we're all going to be able to enjoy. And they have the choice of being able to transfer over or not, or lock down their wheelchair if they choose to stay in their wheelchair. Um, the aisles have been built wide, 32 inches. Most wheelchairs are 24 to 27 inches through the entire train. This allows somebody to be able to go with, a, with some kind of a device or a wheelchair through the entire train, which includes the, the car with the restaurant, wherever they may want to go to see their friends, they're able to get through, including the gangplank that um, is also daunting. It's an enclosed vestibule that has a sensor um, door. It allows thousands of people to travel that before could not. Um, I think that All Aboard Florida will make a positive statement to the country <coughs> and what can be accomplished with communities working together because that's what it takes. Um, and they value, and those communities should be able to va value how they fit into the big picture and paying it forward. I'm on board. Thank you. Thank you.
Kate.